Tasha, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some of the things I've gotten from my home decor haul the past couple of weeks. I went to Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I got a couple of things that I had written down that I feel like I needed around the house to give it a little bit more adult. And this video is a part of my house to home series where I've been taking things, doing some DIYs, and making my house really feel like a home. So I'm going to show you the things that I got and we're going to start with TJ Maxx. So you really can't go to TJ Maxx and not pick up some candles <laughs> and when I look for candles I kind of look for some that fit my living room decor and this cream white color goes with my decor very well. Uh, my couches and my chair is cream and in my, in my rug I have a cream color too. And so I was looking at this candle, this one is called Gardenia Petals. And it says it's a sweet green floral. It smells really good to me. It kind of it kind of smells like a really good conditioner. <laughs> yeah, it smells really good. Um, and I actually got three of them because it smelled so good. And so um, I'm not gonna even try to play juggling three before I drop it and smash it. But yeah, I got three of these ones, and it's gonna go well with my decor, and it's gonna smell good all year round. So yeah, I like this a lot. Also, in my kitchen, I've been looking. Um, for more things to kind of make my kitchen look a little bit more upscale and so right now I have just like oil bottles sitting on the counter and it's very ugly I have different kind of oils like coconut, vegetable, olive. So I decided to get some of these oil and vinegar bottles. I got two of this kind. Um, they match the square ones and then I also got a bigger one that's a little bit rounded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have olive oil, avocado oil, and my coconut oil. And I'm gonna put the coconut oil and the olive oil, or probably the coconut oil and avocado oil in these two. And then I'm gonna put the olive oil in this separate one because avocado oil and olive oil look the same if there's no label. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them in two different bottles so I don't get them mixed up. And then I also got this, uh, this like, wooden board and what I'm gonna do is put them on top and make it look like nice decoration um, I'm not a waitress so I'm gonna set these on my counter just like this make it look cute um, but also functional and so that oil doesn't you know drip all over my countertops it'll just get on this and then I can just wipe this off so I thought that was a cute idea and I also got some avocado oil because I didn't have any and I'm excited to start cooking with it I've been cooking with olive oil but I know that olive oil is not really a cooking oil as much as a finishing oil so I'm trying to uh, grow <laughs> trying to grow my cooking skills and uh, so yeah I got some avocado oil this is the Stonewall kitchen brand and um, you know that all of these TJ Maxx Walgreens I mean Walgreens Jesus TJ Maxx Marshalls and home goods have the, have their uh, specialty um, gourmet cooking aisle and that's where I got this from and the last thing that I got from TJ Maxx was this fake plant just like tall grass has a white uh, white vase on it um, I got this one uh, primarily to put some greenery in my sewing room I think I may put it in there if it, if it fits somewhere that makes sense the, the grass is kind of tall so I just have to play around with it but if it doesn't go in there it's probably gonna go in my room because uh, the decor in my room I want is uh, white and gold and so this would white gold and greenery and so this would match well in my room if I don't find a space for it in my sewing room Okay, so that wasn't the last thing. The last thing I got from TJ Maxx was this letter board. And this is definitely gonna go in my sewing room. Um, the decor in there is like wood and white. And uh, yeah, you can change the message all the time. And I thought, I feel like it's a super cool idea to have this in my room to express my mood and you know, maybe for different videos and uh, different uh, things that I'll, different content that I'll be putting out in my sewing room. This is was a cute idea to me. The next things I'm gonna show are from Marshalls. And so we'll start with the kitchen things that I got. I got this big 
I don't even know what to call it. But this 16, 1.6 liter bottle, and I really got it because um, at one point in life, I was trying to make iced coffee, and I made all of this coffee, and it was really hot, and I had nowhere to put it, to put it in the fridge. And so I got this idea to get a nice tall bottle, or a big bottle, to put um, coffee in the refrigerator for when I make iced coffee. Do I really be drinking coffee like that? Not really. Not really, but when I want to, now I got a bottle. So uh, <laughs> that's what that's for. I got two glass canisters and I got these for like beans and lentils. And these um, were the only two that were exactly the same in, in Marshall. So I got these two. They're a very nice height, very pretty big. I don't see a size. But yeah, this is gonna do well. I eat a lot of lentils. I um, eat a lot of beans as well. And so I already have like pasta, rice, you know, sugar flour and canisters on my counter, but I would really like to have my lentils out and my beans out so I can see when I need to buy more. And just to really, you know, free up some space in my cabinets because I don't have a, that much cabinet space and uh, I'm running out. And so I wanted to put these on display. Um, everyone knows, you know, Marshalls also has candles, so I went to Marshalls and TJ Maxx on two completely different days. What's hilarious is that I got some candles in the exact same scent as I did at TJ Maxx and I didn't even know it. I got two of these, same color and everything, these cream white candles and it's called Fresh Cut Gardenia. <laughs> they smell exactly the same, lovely, and uh, I got two of them. And I think that's so funny because I didn't I had I didn't even notice at all. But I love the shape of these, very really nice, really simplistic, but they're gonna smell amazing when I burn them. So um obviously I have a type, apparently. That's my type. Excuse myself. I also got another candle, and this one it's green, and I have and I have a lot of green in my living room as well. This one's called Blue Water Lily. Um, nice, and I have a lot of copper and gold accents in my living room. So this one is just gonna go really well with my decor also. It has nice and big, it has three wicks on it. it. Smells absolutely great. It's kind of giving me fresh scent plus linen plus aqua. I really, really like it a lot. Feeling it. And so this is another candle that I got, um, apparently I'm going candle crazy. I've never been one to burn that many candles, but I'm gonna start now because you know you love it when your house smells like good. <laughs> you know, it makes you feel like you're doing good for your life. So I'm gonna be using those very soon. And then I have a um, these next few things I got for my it's like my entryway. Um, it's like a entryway shelf, and so. I have random things on there that I just kind of threw up there just because but you know I want to make it look nice and make it feel welcoming to people coming in and so I've got some decor to go on it and so one thing I got was this like rock structure which is really unique I like it it, it, it goes well with um, I have like this uh, I have another rock uh, decor item on there already that are, that's gonna stay and so I thought this would be a nice addition to it to put next to it or you know maybe on another shelf so we'll see how that works I'll do a video of me uh, decorating that later on and then you know because we're in such uncertain times um, on my entryway shelf there is there is a bottle of hand sanitizer for people to use when they walk in the house and there's also a bottle of disinfectant spray and so for the hand sanitizer I bought a little bottle to put the hand sanitizer in it so this doesn't look like you know I have no class it just right now it just says Germex and it's green I I bought this to <laughs> make it look a little bit more classy. So we can come in, get some hand sanitizer. Preferably, you know, just wash your hands, but just, you know, just in case, you know. So that's what this is for. And then another thing I got for that shelf is this fake plant. 
Um, I love seeing greenery when I walk around the house. Um, right now, I'm not feeling super encouraged as a plant mom. Um, I've had a couple of my kids pass away. And so right now, I'm going for the fake route. And so I got this. This is, um, I like the black vase. It kind of goes with the other decor that's already on the shelf. And so when I make a video on that, you will see that. I'll probably link it in this video when I do that. And then the last thing I got from Marshalls, or the last few things I got, is a bunch of baskets. I got one, two, three, four, five baskets, and they're all nested in here. So um, I got them all um, in different sizes because in my linen closet, it's really, really disorganized, and I feel like I can, I really want to bring some organization to it. And so I figured with the different kinds of baskets, I can organize things well in there. And um, I'll do a video on that too, organizing my linen closet when I get to that point. Um, so yeah, I have five different baskets. Probably put toilet paper in one so I can actually see when that's going down and when I need to buy more. Um, maybe, you know, I actually have tools in there. I have a lot of cleaning supplies. So these baskets will come in great handy when I'm ready to organize my closet. And for the home goods, portion of the haul I didn't get that many things at the at home goods I think the location I went to maybe just wasn't that great but I didn't see a lot of stuff I was really really looking for stuff in there for my dining room because I really want to get that set up and get that decorated well and I can feel at peace about that space but I didn't see anything in there for that I'm looking for some kind of centerpiece to bring things together so I'm still on the look for that I think they're actually building a home goods in the plaza next to my neighborhood which may not be that great of an idea but I'm excited to see it come so I'm going to show you the few things that I did get from there when I was in there I found another canister it has the same design as the ones I got from Marshall's but these or yeah from Marshall's but this one is taller just a little bit and um I probably still put the same kind of things in there, some kind of grain or something, and it's gonna look great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I was able to find another one of the same style because you know I didn't want like too much variation. I already have the ones I mentioned that I have in there now, and they don't have this uh, ridged ripple design on it. So I'm glad I found three of the same. So it's gonna look cute. And then I got two different baskets. I'm probably gonna use to organize some things in my sewing room. So I try to match the colors for in there, the white and the, the uh, wood looking color. So I got this basket, which is a cute little shape. And then I got this basket, which is just all like wicker. Well, nothing super special about it, but um, you know, great for organization. I'll probably put some of my camera stuff in one of these. And you'll probably see it when I do my sewing room tour soon. Soon. I don't I, know I don't have a date on it. But it's coming soon enough. So stay tuned for that if you are into sewing. And the last thing. That's really heavy. The last thing I got, you know, pompous grass is all the rage. You know, so I wanted to be in on it, and I got this really tall. <clears throat> well, this is the bottom. I'll I'll I'll, make, I'll put a B roll in there, but it has this white vase, and it's supposed to sit on the floor. And uh, I bought it for my room. I bought it for my bedroom. Because um, like I mentioned before, I want, you know, white decor, white and gold, and, you know, pomegranate grass kind of gives that neutral vibe that I already have in there. Um, I, I want to put a chase in my room, and so this will probably go behind that in a corner somewhere and just, you know, give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi, you know? And that's it for the haul. I did get a good amount of things. I'm excited to put, you know, they didn't all really go together, but once you start putting the elements where they go, you know, it does, they do their part to make 
the house feel more like a home, feel more uh, cozy, feel more inviting. And so I'm excited to share when I do those things as well. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked any of the things that I got. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see how these things get incorporated into my home. Um, if you haven't seen my closet yet, check out this video right here put it somewhere up here and uh, if you want to see any other videos make sure you check out the video down here and I'll see you in the next one bye